What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today we're going to go over the patch notes for the kind of anticipated update that a lot of people have been waiting on. This was update 1.13. Of course, this was around 13 gigs on PS4, 18 gigs on Xbox, and 48 gigs on PC. I will link these patch notes down in the description as always in case you guys would like to read over them. Uh, the first thing they kind of talked about was they added capture the flag and shoot the ship, which will remove shoot house 24-7 playlist. Also, they added five additional loadout slots and the new crossbow weapon. You unlock it by using a marksman rifle with a reflex optic. You get five kills in 25 different matches. And some play, uh, they kind of had a lot of general fixes. Some of these were some cases players could hit an invisible kill trigger in the bush that would cause them to die instantly when near a, a flag on port. Fix the out of bounds exploit on Palace. Temporary, uh, temporarily removed farmland out of rotation while they fixed a few bugs. Fix for a bug that could lock a PC player's field of view at 60 uh, until they respawned, of course, in ground war. The stand together calling card also got a fix. The daily challenge for getting 10 uh, Claymore kills was awarding the wrong thing. That has also been fixed. Uh, fixed an issue where the playlist filter would not switch game modes even in multi if, if multiple modes were selected. Also uh, adjusted the damage threshold for getting uh, X kills while injured uh, challenge to make it a bit easier. Various out of map exploits. I'm kind of glad they're starting to fix these. There's, there's been a lot of uh, exploits outside of the map, under the map, that kind of thing. It kind of makes it annoying to play it sometimes, if you know what I mean. Uh, also fixed the recent player list appearing incorrectly on Xbox. Fixed a bug that would allow players to capture the hard point, hard point while in uh, the hotel on St. Petrograd. Also, fixed a bug that would reset voice chat settings. Also, fixed a bug that allowed player collisions. That has, uh, that has supposedly been fixed, and the player collisions should not be happening anymore. Fixed a bug that could give players invincibility. Fixed for some officer progression emblems not displaying the correct rarity. There was a few other little things here and there, but those were kind of the main high points of that, uh, you know, of those kind of general fixes. Also, they fixed a bug where the stopping power round field upgrade with an empty C, uh, would empty C4 slots and cause the C4 detonator to appear before reloading with the stopping power rounds. I have heard some people talking about that on some different forums and things of that issue. Uh, trophy systems, they increased the radius of the protection, decreased the radius and the damage taken by trophy explosions, and fixed a bug where the explosion damage and effects would trigger for the third explosion. They fixed a bug with the cruise missile kill streak. Also, the one milliwatt laser would not appear equipped on the uh, 1911 pistol. The M4A1 Blueprint OG ADS position moved forward. Also, they increased the bullet penetration of the M2K carbine. Less horizontal recoil and initial bullets for the F on initial bullets on the FN SCAR 17. Um, also, some other things they did with weapons um, changed the way stats are displayed for stocks to be more consistent with the other attachments. And there was a good bit of changes for the Call of Duty League. Now, of course, the Call of Duty League starts this weekend, so there I, I figured there were going to be a good bit of st a good bit of changes in here for the Call of Duty League and Codcaster. I'm not going to go over those, but that was all the patch notes, guys, for today. Like I said, mainly just some general bug fixes, a couple things with weapon tuning, and mainly a good bit of stuff to do with also on uh, kind of the Codcaster and Call of Duty League end. There was one other thing I was going to mention. There was a couple changes just specifically for PC. Uh, they tweaked parts of the Battle Pass UI in order to better support higher aspect ratios, fixed an issue where the with sound effects on the support helo, and fixed several, uh, several fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability. Of course, that was just for PC. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. I know a lot of this stuff that was changed today was mainly kind of bug fixes and stuff again, kind of like we've had in the past updates. So I'm sure some people are not going to be really happy with this update, but leave me a comment. Like I said, let me know your thoughts about it. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel, and they sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.